welcome to the comms weekly thing. Uh, we're going to start with intentions and distractions. Um, and if uh, John Jonas, you want to start, please. Okay. Um, well, my intentions this week are just to sing up with Come Group and seeing what I can help or what I can do for the community. Uh, distractions this week. I have some videos to edit and it's they are hard. And in my I think you didn't say weekly playlist acid laser, but I I'm gonna I'm gonna say Yes. You can, in, you can tell in my weekly playlist I've been listening to mm, monolink. It's like a uh, house or something like that. So I'll pass it to um Juan Cabell. Thank you. Um yeah, my intention is to invite you to uh, come to the Graviton training that will happen in two hours. Um, I will be facilitating and we will be um, using some of the tools that we have uh, been talking about during the training uh, with some uh, real life cases. And uh, my distraction is that, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about that and uh, adding some slides and um, like preparing the, the session. And uh, my weekly playlist, I've been listening to the latest album of Drake. I liked it. And yeah, that's, that's it. I will pass it to um, Acid Laser. Thank you. Uh, my intention is to uh, get with you guys about the updates of the communications working group. While Chu is not here, my distractions is that my laptop is too uh, too slow today, but everything's okay. And in my weekly playlist, I have been listening a lot to uh, let me see my Spotify uh, to Matty Greg. He he did a uh, Harry, a Harry Styles cover uh, with the Strokes style, and it's very cool. And with that, I'll pass it to, to Manu. Thank you, Rukayu. Um, for my part, the intention is to um, present some updates from the marketing team. Uh, we worked on the newsletter um like 30 minutes ago and i'll be finishing it right now and scheduling it to be sent out um probably at midnight which is early morning for uh european time so that's the intention to just give some updates on marketing uh distraction um i'm having some breakfast and i'll be working on the newsletter and as for the weekly playlist um man i don't know probably metallica megadeth iron maiden all that good stuff um i will pass it to nate thanks Bonnie. um yeah my intention is just to catch up on what's going on with the uh, team down comms and Contribute where I can. My distractions are, of course, uh, my baby, and who's currently asleep at the moment. But I don't think that's going to last very long. And yeah, that's it. It was. Is there an opening question or anything I'm missing? Sorry. Weekly playlist. Oh, weekly playlist. Yeah. So I've been 
I don't know. I've been playing a lot of uh, Childish Gambino and listening to assorted podcasts here and there. I'm like on the hunt for for a new podcast. So um, if anybody's got any uh, suggestions, let me know. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who came, who's left. I came in a little bit late, so pass it back to you, Acid Loser. Thank you. Thank you, Nate. Uh, Alan TV. Hey, thanks. Hello, everybody, and well, my distractions. I just got back from my vacation, so I've been feeling chilled, so I don't have distractions. And more intentions. I want to continue with the rig of the characters for the reward system video and also make the list of props and backgrounds uh, to be able to start production as soon as possible. And from my wiki playlist, maybe something from Boss. And that's it. And I'll pass it to um, NT. Thanks. Uh, so intentions just catch up with the comms team, uh, especially now that I've been helping a bit with translations. Um, the extractions, uh, none really right now. And weekly playlist, uh, I don't know. I've been listening to a whole lot of new music this week, uh, particularly Riggy, lots of Riggy. And so that's that's where I'm into right now. Um, I'll pass it back to US Laser because I'm not sure who's left. Thank you, NT. Uh, IRM, you want to participate? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's just me. Um, my intentions um, would be to contribute to comms and um, this week with some hopefully concrete tasks and also sample, just um, participate and also um, connect and watch live stream ETH Paris, because I'm sad I'm not, I can't go. Um, my distractions, um, a lot of travel for me this week, um, domestically. And um, on my playlist has been some Persian vinyl, psychedelic disco vinyl, um, which I do sometimes when I feel nostalgic. And my best friend is Iranian, so I have a, I usually go back to her Spotify and find her new playlists and love them. So, yeah. Anyone else? I don't think so. Okay, back to you. Thank you, Aaron. I don't know if I told P, do you want to participate? I have to see you around here, but maybe, maybe no or yes. I'm sorry, what's the question again? No, I'm talking to, I tell P, if, if, I don't know if he wants to participate, but let's continue with the, with the regular call. Thank you everyone for coming. So just as a reminder, Chewy is on vacation. He's at the first crypto rock tour in Mexico with Necromorpho Band. And we're um, I am very proud of, of him for for that project. And I'm covering him uh from July 14th to August 23. If you have something um to tell me or a question or everything that you need to know, you can catch with me and, and I can help you while she is not here. So let's start with the team current status. As a reminder, uh, we have these calls on Mondays, just the marketing one and the regular comms call in Tuesday. So starting with the, t the Token Engineering Academy, um, the new proposal is up in gardens. It has a couple of weeks there, but if you have some um, some DC tokens that you want to use to vote to this proposal, feel free to do it. Also, you can read the full proposal here in the link in the agenda. Let me, well, it doesn't charge, but, well, okay. So I think it only has like uh, four, uh, supporters, if you want to do it, feel free to do it, or or if not, it's okay. And another interesting topic about Token Engineering Academy is that their birthday party is on the on the next July 27. It's going to be a full day or event 
of events. It will have uh, talks, uh, workshops, and I think Angie is going to do like a like a gravity style uh, talk there. I, I'm not really sure, but I, I think I hear something about it. And you can register here in the link. It is uh, Google Forms. I think there's and definitely they will send you the calendar invitation. It will be very really good. We were talking about doing some POAPs for the people who attend. Also, some dynamics, um, uh, doing some invitation on Twitter. But it's going to be really good. Uh, I think it's a, a good opportunity for joining the T Academy community. And if you want to go, it's going to be all the day of July 27th. So if you want to come, feel free to do it. Uh, in the Twitter planning theme is the next talk, the next uh, sync uh, after the T Academy one. What are we doing there? So the last week we cover up all the tc uh community activity in ethereum barcelona i made with chewy this street this thread sorry about the talks that made the the tc community there the first one is the Lauren participation in the in this panel, region mentalities. Also, there is the Livia's talk about reward system and the praise dashboard and all the stuff. Also, Tam with the solar punk future beyond stay in the market. And Griff, region economy is the crypto anarchist dream. So Remember that retweet is equal love. So give some love to our Twitter. We almost get into to 5k followers. So if you want to spread the token engineering work, it's always welcome. And this week we are covering up we're covering up the HCC in Paris uh tweets. There's not too many TC activity there. The Griff Talks was today, and I tweeted, um, here it is. Uh, it was on live stream, and in the newsletter, it's going to be the link to it. And maybe I can tweet it later, but, but it's going to be in the newsletter. Also, there's going to be a common stack tweet about a picnic they're going to do there in Paris, and it will be amazing. Also, we were talking in the previous call, I think yesterday, about changing the Mimi party day. Uh, I think this could help to engage more um, the community, not not to work related to to maybe to just enjoy and have some chill time, hang out, and also use that that pictures for Twitter. So the Mimi party is on Fridays, but I think in the European time it's too late and there's not too many people joining them. So we were talking about doing doing them in Thursdays while the community call is, is going to be bi-weekly. So this is the discussion of the day. Change the Mimi party day or no? I don't know if if someone wants to give some opinion about that, if you think it's good or not. Uh, it's going to be changed from Friday to when? Maybe Thursday, but I don't know. I think Thursday is going to be a good day, while the community call is going to be bi-weekly. Yeah. Um, yeah, no one's going to the to the current the meme party on Fridays. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm down to make it on Thursday. Cool. Uh, I would consider doing it twice a month or just once as well. Yes, yeah, I'm not. Like I'm not sure. Weekly is, you know. Yeah, maybe it's a good a good uh way to do it by weekly. Yeah. Cool. Any opinions about that? 
Nope. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, so as you know, in animation and video production team, uh, we're doing uh, the quantifier tutorial for the reward system working group. Uh, this will help to understand more the, the praise dashboard and how to quantify correctly for the new for the newcomers uh, quantifiers. So with the team, we have done the full animatic video with sound design ready. Uh, Miguel Bayon is helping us uh, doing the sound design and it looks very good. Uh, the animatic is like a first draft of the full animation, the final animation. And I am going to show you the advances of that video. Just let me share my Discord screen. So you can give us uh, your feedback if you, if you want to do it. And And that's it. So this is the final animatic. Uh, the next steps are to do the final art and the final animation. For that, we're going to do like a Google Sheets so we can uh, type wh what things we we need we we need to do next, like the props, the backgrounds, and some more characters and also the sound design changes that we're going to need because it needs to show the dashboard here here only says the word dashboard but in the final video it's going to be the full dashboard uh experience with uh boys uh explaining what's going on and and all this stuff but if someone wants to give some feedback uh you're welcome if not it's okay Uh, with that, that's all in animation and, and be the production team. So in translation, Steam, as a reminder, NT is moving forward to be the working group leader in that uh, team in translations. 
I think Denti is doing a really great work uh, doing the all the changes that that this that this team needs. I don't know, Enti, if you want to show uh, the Google sheet that you did and the and the and showing the mirror, it 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 could be it could be nice if you if you could do it. Um, sure. You give me just one second to open that. So as stated um, in the D works in the D word that we have in translations, uh, we're going to we decide to close the to do task list because we are getting out of money. To and and they had the idea to give priority to the done and in progress tasks so they can be paid, and these. And this one put it in, in pause while we decide what to do, do another proposal. But I can explain you more. Yeah, thanks. So um, I'm taking, I took over the project of the, the translations team. And um, I'm still, you know, doing some catch up because it was with very short notice. But uh, this is not the end. Whatever. So, as 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 Lister was saying, we are pretty much getting uh, out of funds. There's about what eight hundred something exact left, and so I thought that um, we realistically don't have money to pay what's on the to do list. That's first of all, and we have a few pending uh, tasks in Portuguese and Spanish. Uh, yeah, only in Portuguese and Spanish. So we are. I'm. I'm trying to see what would be the best way to move forward with these because uh, I don't think we have enough to pay all of them, anyways. There's a few that are mine. I'm happy to wait for the next proposal or something. I don't. I don't need to get paid right away. Um, but yeah, just sort of clearing out what we have pending and then starting the next proposal term uh, with. Uh, uh, with some fresh terms and with some fresh tasks to offer. Um, then we have an issue with the with the mirror account because that address is um, was generated with the private keys of the previous leader, and so we are looking at ways to to migrate the all all the all the posts to a new mirror account or to another. Um, I'm not sure if medium account or Recently, Gnosis, the Gnosis Guild uh, made a new, a new kind of um, platform, which I'm looking into. Um, what else? Also, talking about the mirror, um, for some reason, they made the decision to put all languages on a single mirror, and I think that's confusing, especially for the reader. And so we are thinking about having separate accounts for each language. With a with a proper manager, let's say. Um, there's that, and also I'm sorry, going back again to to the tasks and management overall. Uh, we are going to um, experiment and use translations and promote translations as the as a good first issue for newcomers in the community, and give priority for newcomers. Whereas uh, QAs or so quality quality assurance. Is going to be made by a more, um, I'd say, a specialized team of um, trusted and experienced contributors within the TEC. Oh, finally, I have I made this this spreadsheet, which is still a work in, in progress, where we have an index with all the all the um, all the articles that have been posted. There's about forty five so far. This just crashed. I'm sorry. Uh, and so there's the index. There's the the article with the link. There's the date, the amount of words, the rate, and the, the final price. And so uh, what I have in mind is that in each uh, sheet, say for the, the sheet of the season one, let me one second. Let me try to open this again because that's not going. Like, to work like that very well. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, bear with me. Okay. So, well, um, I'll, I'll hand it back over to you, AC Laser, because this is breaking up again. So, that's okay. But yeah, you. pretty much, um, pretty much that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get everything ready this week so we can work on the next proposal the upcoming week and start working again. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Thanks for the amazing work that you're doing and all the translators team that you have. Thank you so much. So let's move on to the next team. Here you go. The marketing team. Uh, the marketing team's doing a really great work, uh, especially uh, NT and Manu. Uh, Manu is uh, doing a main TC campaign. He was uh, the last week in the one high to be radiant Spanish, uh, explaining about TC, about how to mean TC, and and all the stuff. It was amazing. It had it had like it has like. Uh, the full radio, like uh, maybe people I don't know that 80. were there. how many man? Eighty, yeah, eighty people. It was, it was it was really good because it was all full Spanish speakers, and we need Spanish speakers in in TC. And also, man is going to be this week uh, recording the Espacio Crypto podcast, one of the most famous. Uh, Spanish uh, podcast of crypto here in Mexico and maybe Latin and it, it will it will be very good. I like that podcast. She was once in one, so it will be great. And I don't know, man, if you want to give some updates to the team about the new newsletter and the campaign. Yeah, sure. Thanks, um, Asi Laser. Yeah, so for the Mean TC campaign, um, yeah, I've been going to several. Um, well, I went to the One High TV uh, radio session. Um, I'm going to be appearing at the Spacio Crypto podcast. Um, and that's just, I guess, that's a part of the work around the Mean TC campaign, but really. Um, I think the, the, the most important aspect of it or, or what I want to bring, um, uh, is to create content that has the, um, create content that has the possibility of becoming viral, right? So, uh, uh, um, um, um. I think we're doing really well in terms of technical articles and explaining things at a high level. Um, but um, I think we can do better in terms of creating media that is just really easy to digest, uh, even entertainment based. So, uh, I mean, I've been saying this for a while, but um, um, yeah, the idea, some of the ideas are creating music, creating uh, um, some ads. Uh, and so I'm working on a spoken word poem like the one I did for Common Stack. Um, it, and uh, after I finish that one, I will uh, record it with Chewy this weekend. So I pretty much have only a couple of days to finish it and then I'm going to record it this weekend and then um yeah we're going to we're going to launch it um in the twitter so it has to be less than 2 minutes and then I'm also working on some music um uh, that you know with with uh with crypto or token engineering lingo and uh you know things like that so Again, the idea is to create engagement, to compete with all these other um, all these other initiatives or or artists or people that um, are, I guess, more effectively uh, 
triggering the serotonin in our brains. And so that's basically, um, other than, you know, doing the usual rounds of going to the One Hive TV radio and all these podcasts and all these appearances uh, and educating people on what it is, uh, creating more entertainment-based content that can, uh, first of all, interest people in what we're doing. And once they're interested, then possibly they'll want to learn about the bonding curves and conviction voting and um, all these protocols that we're using to um, to fulfill our purpose. But um, I think, first of all, we want to get them interested before they become um, more deeply involved. So that's the frame of the Mean TC campaign, uh, educating people and uh, explaining it in Spanish and English, but also creating content that is, uh, um, yeah, that has the potential to go viral. So um, as for the fifth newsletter, it will go live um, tomorrow or later today, uh, tomorrow for Central European time. So I'll finish it today. Um, Antti and I worked on it and uh, I will schedule it to be sent out uh, later today so that early tomorrow people can look at the fifth newsletter. So if you guys, if there's anything that you want to um, bring attention to, uh, besides, of course, I know the, the, the Graviton training that will be highlighted there. But if there are any other things that you feel uh, might be escaping my mind, then please let me know before it goes out so that I can um, add it add it there. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll back to you as you later. Thank you, Manu. So stay tuned for the newsletter. newsletter. If you are not subscribed, uh, you can do it in, in the TEC website in the bottom. Just click, just type your email and type subscribe. And with that, uh, I think that's it. Um, we can uh, end the call here. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming up uh, and for coming to my first comms call hosting. And uh, thank you so much. And see you in the rest of the week. If you have something to say to me, uh, feel free to do it. Send me a DM or in the comms channel. Uh, I can I can see what I can do. And um, thank you so much, guys. See you in the rest of the week. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, everybody. Uh, hope to see you in the gravity training session night today. Yeah. Bye.